Hi, if you're watching this video, you've either received a new Gigaset A510i P phone or you're reconfiguring one that seems to have lost its settings. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set the date and the time. Okay, the phone will not go any further until this has been done. Okay, so that's been done. So the next thing is to register the handset to the base station. Okay, so you go to settings, registration, and click register. Okay, the system pin on the gigasets are always double zero, double zero. And then we'll get the message handset is registering. While it's doing that, we need to press the light on the base station for three or four seconds. We should then see a bell come up on the screen and the handset should register. Okay, if it doesn't happen the first time, try again. It did take me two or three times sometimes while making the video to actually get the handset to register. So press the button for three or four seconds and that should be done. Okay, so the next part is to actually get the handset configured using a config code. Okay, so this bit's a little bit tricky, but stay with it. We need to go to settings. then to telephony then to VoIP wizard and then we start the IP voice wizard and click OK okay you'll see a message say IP1 and then do you have an auto config code click yes here you'll need to enter the config code okay make sure you've got it handy So enter the code and press OK. We'll get a message saying please wait. Register provider. This again can take a while. And then we get the message IP account is registered. Okay, so then we say the next screen is assign connect to int1. Click yes. Okay, the next screen is receive calls from phone. We need to scroll down once here until the screen says receive calls for phone IP1. And then click OK. The next is send calls via phone. We need to click change here. Okay, and then we need to click the right key twice until it says int1 send calls via IP1 and then click OK again. Then we get a message saying connection assigned completed. So that's the phone registered and configured. You should now be able to make a test call to make sure you can send and receive calls. Okay, so the next part of this video is if you've already got a handset and it's lost its settings or you've got halfway through this and it just doesn't seem to be working it's always good to do a hard reset of the base station okay and that's the next video if any time you do get any issues try that uh, but always make sure you've got your config code before hard resetting the base station okay thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you've got online